So people they ask me, Boris, do you play games for a living now? And they say yes, yes I do. Yes, Boris! Welcome ladies and companies to another Slav Game Week. I am Boris and I will be your guide through this world of Slav Gaming. And this is already the third time that I take a week of the month to introduce to the world the beautiful games of the Slavs. So get your shashik ready, put on Ushanka and enjoy. So today, Bullet Storm, bet you did not even know this was Slav Game. But ah, uh, People Can Fly Studios is Polish developer. Although it was co-developed by Epic Games and published by EA, but still, it is Polish game and Slavs should be proud. Although it looks and feels a lot like Gears of War, but still! People Can Fly is a software company based in Warsaw, Poland. Known for games like Painkiller and, well, the original Gears of War PC port. Which was kind of shit. And after 2007, the company was acquired by Epic Games. And I guess that's why this game looks like Gears of War a lot. But it is also very different. In Bullet Storm, you play as... Wait, let me add something first. This game is not available in all regions on Steam. So you might actually have to buy the 360 Xbox version. And also borrow the Xbox, of course, bullet. Which I did. I do this so you do not have to. Okay, Bullet Storm, you play as drunk man. Shooting guns and kicking people in the face on a daily regular basis. The game is pretty much like Gears of War, but with adult humor. Are you scared the dick off me? Launched in 2011, the game was received with many positive responses. People said, of course we want to get awards and points for killing the enemies in so many different ways. And of course, what I'm talking about is the skill shot feature. You take your electric whip and punch the guy into some electric wire. And boom, 100 points for you. The more creative the kill, the more points you get. And with the points you can buy bullets and upgrades for your weapons. But okay, let's say you are not a creative person. You just came here to enjoy the view and just to play rounds of bullets into enemy's face. Will you get banned from this game? No. Well, maybe. But it will be a lot harder to upgrade your weapon. Because more points means more bullets. The game itself is set up in such a way that you start your game with one weapon and no skills at all. And through progression of the game, you unlock features and killing methods that you never knew existed. Even with the arcade style shooting and the fairly easy to follow storyline, the game itself is not exactly what I would call simple. Even at normal difficulty will have many opportunities to die, especially if you forget to take cover. But okay, you did not click on this video to watch a slap talk about the game that was 5 years old. But instead you must be wondering, if this game was developed by Slavs, there must be some slavically unique details embedded into storyline, or maybe some environment details. And that is what we find out today. Crouch yes, squad no. Not that there is a camera change button so I can check, or not that I even have fit, so to check if maybe I'm doing quest on space squad, I will say no. Well, other than the female lead character Trishka and her late father Mr. Novak, there are no more Slavic names in the game, not to mention characters. So to this I cannot say no, but also not yes, so it's a eh. Well, whatever these drinks are, they are definitely not compote. My estimation, Slavotka. Well, seeing that the main theme is uncovered Cyclops heads, I'm gonna go with no, and no smoking as well. The only thing that they have been cooking here is borscht with some very red beef and human leg for taste. That's another no. Well, unless my enemies are allergic to mayonnaise, then I'm pretty sure I'm shooting bullies right now. Otherwise it would be called mayonnaise storm. I do not know what type of world this is, but it is not Slav. I assume the developers did not think of making this alien world into a Slavic one. But you could have just added one such extent. Blin. Not exactly Slav, but very much Boris. Throughout the game I saw exactly zero toilets. So did you zero points? I guess everyone shits in the streets then. The internals of this game are not that slow. But who can blame the developers? This game was published by EA after all. Go fuck yourself! So in conclusion, I am sad to say that this Polish made game has very little residual slavness. But this does not stop me from searching for the ultimate Slavic game. And for that reason, my comrades, next time we play Witcher. Stay cheeky breaky, my friends. I'll see you next time. Oh,